In Libya now, young girls are seeking uncharted territory as they train in a new soccer academy in the capital, Tripoli. It's been, a difficult, it's been difficult for professional women footballers to practice the sport freely in the country and their activities have been halted several times since the country's uprising erupted in 2011. 13-year-old Samar Badi believes she has all what it takes to play for Libya's national female soccer team in the future. But the soccer enthusiast has to cross some hurdles. Sama is among 30 others training at the girls' only soccer academy in the Libyan capital Tripoli, where they learn the basics of the world's most popular sport. I wish that we would make it to the national team, for example, and play against other nations, to show them that in Libya, even girls like to play soccer and are able to play soccer. We want to change the idea they have about us. Opened only a month ago, coaches at Al Tawati Academy work against the odds in a country where outdoor public spaces and activities are dominated by men. The academy, whose founders say it is the first of its kind in Libya, recruited the young girls through advertisements in Tripoli schools. And its goal is to promote and support women's talents in the field of sports. <laughs> The idea was always met with criticism when the organizers published photos of the girls during soccer training online. But today, it is different. The encouragement of the young footballer's parents is an important factor. Mothers constantly attend the training and cheer on their daughters. <laughs> The Libyan women's national team, formed in 1997, is only accredited for futsal matches and indoor side matches on smaller pitches, but it doesn't have FIFA recognition. <laughs>